Class, thank you for joining us today. I know this was short notice. Abdul, what a wonderful student, came in today. We're going to be displaying media analysis of Hamlet here. we got a bunch of prompts. We're going to go through it together. I'm going to be arguing the points. Josh right here is going to be taking the role, keeping you guys in check. I hope everyone's here. Let me check. 26, 26, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. good, that's good. Where's Tyler in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're just going to get rolling here. Um, I watched the 2000 version of Hamlet. I watched the Kenneth version. I put version. this guy in the classroom, so go check that out right now if you haven't. Which one did you watch? About? I watched the Kenneth version. Kenneth version. Okay. Top tier class. I will be arguing on it. So we both have different views on Hamlet, and um, we're going to be talking about that today. Yeah, so let's just dive right in. Um, you should all have a virtual, uh, Let me take my notes. A virtual copy of this crossword here. Our first prompt, one across, or one down, sorry, the hierarchy in Denmark. And the, uh, oh, yes, wow. Abdul. You know, when I think of hierarchy in, in the olden times, especially, I go back to Mr. H's first lesson, where he was talking about three things we have to remember. Humanism, Wheel of Fortune, and the Renaissance. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with Wheel of Fortune, looking wow. at the That is correct. We're starting off song wow. here, so I'll write that wow. down. Wow. Crazy how that just stuck with you, eh? Mm. Mr. H really pounded that. Great, here, great bro. teacher. Wow. Great. I love to see that. You know, that really warms my heart. Yeah, yeah and we're going to be able to move right along because I don't think there's any uh, big discrepancies no. between the two. Here we go. So, two across, right over here. Sorry, I'm going on class. Yeah. Shakespeare's way of connecting the audience to Hamlet's emotions. Oh, easy. You know, this Shakespeare's a master at this soliloquy. Yes, they didn't even is. have to think about it. I think there's a little bit of typo there. So just watch out your spelling. Oh. It's all good. We were not such a notice COVID today, guys. Holy... You should have seen the streets. <laughs> but let's just move straight along here. Hamlet 2000, guys. Let's talk about soliloquy. Mm. All right. When I think of soliloquy, I don't think of some man standing in the mirror talking to himself. Hamlet 2000, he's walking around in the store. You know, we got back row. We got setting. We got outfit. We got everything. The soliloquies aren't comparable. All right. He's delivering his lines. We've got the music in the back. We've got everything. It comes together perfectly. That's what Hamlet is all you know, about. I think he has me beat there due to the fact that my Hamlet actually talks out loud in a soliloquy. He's supposed to be in your head as we saw in the Bart Simpson clip. Wow. So, Crazy connection. Yeah. I'd like to see that. Yeah, that's well done. Um, yeah. We'll just be moving right along then to three across for those keeping up online. Audio cues that help emphasize tone throughout the, uh, the oh, play. Oh, audio cues? Yeah, that's, that's the use of sound, if I'm not it, mistaken. It absolutely is. Wow. And I'll write that down. Wow. And before I even get working on this, I think we have some, some talk yeah. to me about you know, this one. Let me, let me, let me get this started. There is no way, shape, or form yours wins this battle. Oh, when, I, when I think of use of sound, it's absolutely come a bomb. On. The way it's used in your movie, not needed. We are trying to build a, a face of Hamlet that is so unbelievably serious and you're undercutting it by some explosions, a car crash that he's looking at. No, you, you need to have hey, a hey, silent hey. talking to himself, understanding what's going on. Sit him down. You were just trying to cover up the fact your Hamlet had no budget. You couldn't afford a soundtrack. You couldn't afford a mic. My Hamlet had everything. Had everything. You they did not I leave mean, the I mean, audience in the dust. You filmed your Hamlet in a video store. We there was crickets palace. in the background. We had a palace. There was crickets in the background. Okay, I okay, hear the that's, enough, that's, enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. Come I on. Mean, how is it use of sound if there is no sound, with all due respect? Wow. I think that's going to be after a win for the I'm saying there's no need for sound. There's definitely hey, need for hey, goddamn sound. Hey, Are you crazy? Hey, listen, um, we'll get a poll up later after class, so make sure you guys fill that out and we'll see. Let me, let me, let me just check who's on you. Okay, we're still good. Tyler's on there? Yeah, we're still good. Tyler, Check Alexa. Chat. Check in the chat. Let me see. <laughs> Alexa. <laughs> oh my god. It's class clown Alex, man. Back at it again. Terrible kid. Terrible. Yeah. Look at this role model. All right. Wow. Five. Oh, sorry. Four down. Yeah. Parallel patterns in speech. Wow. Parallel? I'm going to think uh, reuse. <laughs> Um, I don't yeah, think so. that's, um, actually, actually, let me go ahead again. It. Is it repetition? Perhaps. Yes, it is. There you go. Well done. You know, <clears throat> um, can we just, can we just talk about how 
tale of two thousand. The repetition is unmatched. Here we have. Can we just focus our attention here for a second? We have parallel patterns in speech. What does that actually mean? Can you what break is that? It down okay, to I can explain that to you real quick. Hamlet starts off the soliloquy in this act to be or not to be. Mm. He follows that parallel straight down. All right. He's constantly coming back and forth, switching, repeating that parallel structure that we see. In the back of the store of Hamlet 2000, we see action, 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 action. Repet repetition shown constantly. I just want you guys to take a note of that, all right? You know what? That's going to be a test question. He, he's got me beat there. I can't really argue it. The setting just helps him out a lot more. There's not really repetition of looking into a mirror, but, you know, he's got me there. Fair and, play. And Alex, please turn your camera off. I don't... Yeah. Should we be down? What's going on in the background there? Right okay, um, sorry about that, class. Anyway, we're moving on. Five across. Intro, introspective analysis. Really think about this one. Hard word. Is it something judgy? Or um, think close, deeper, close. think deeper. We have a T in here. We have a T in that might help you out a little bit. Um, T, maybe I, O, N, something like that. That's just my first thought when I look at this. Anyone in the back there? You see his hand up? Could you read the prompt again for me, please? We have introspective. Now, think about your analysis. You're introspective in yourself. You know, oh, so I'm reflect. Oh, reflection. There we go. There we, there go. we go. You know, that's a great word we have on there. <clears throat> All right. Okay. You know, when we talk reflection, we have to look at the, like the, the words he's saying and the physical appearance. Mm -hmm. You know, when we look at a dude who's clearly rich, who's clearly powerful, who knows he's next in line for the mm -hmm. throne, and he's reflecting himself, looking at a mirror, telling him, telling himself, like, what am I doing? Like, that is the deepest way of reflection that your Hamlet does not compare yeah. to. I can't argue with that. Yeah. We can't. Be him walking around a store just doesn't reflect the same way. It doesn't. It doesn't. And you know what? I'm, I'm glad you pointed that to the class because uh -huh. we really want to see the difference in literature and see it both ways. You know, so I'm glad you pointed Although his clothes uh, in your Hamlet, I know. They portray, they portray yeah. some reflection. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, there's I other think, aspects yeah, that we could dive into. Let's, let's move on from this. But point. I like your creativity. Let's move on from this. Point. Six across, right here. Nice little bit of a tricky play on words here. Yeah. Joshua thought of this himself. Lack of dot, dot, dot. Oh. Wow. I see a hand up in the. Judgment. Yes, that is correct. Good job, wow. Tyler. Tyler? Yeah. Jeez, man. Didn't expect it from that guy. Presses me every day. You know, a lack of judgment is a great use of uh, words. Thanks. You know, you know when we when we look at rich people, we see them polishing their fingernails, mm. sp splurging their money on everything that comes, <clears throat> but yet they're the judgiest people on earth. <clears throat> when when we look at uh, judgment, we we see like Hamlet's clothes in my Hamlet in the Kenneth Hamlet. Yeah, we see how he like he, he's clearly being judged into wearing those cool outfits as Polonius is wearing. Mm -hmm. You know, like, he's clearly, he, he has to live up to a certain standard. Okay, let, which, me, let me just put a pause on that there, okay? I like your idea. But can we come back to the problem? Lack of. Mm. There's no judgment. He's walking into that store judgment-free. Not a care in the world about wh what other th people think about him. I okay? mean, that being, like, clearly he doesn't care. Clearly he doesn't care. Clearly. Clearly. Yeah. So I cannot just point that out there. Judgment, lack of, and the 2000. Yeah. I think I get judgment, you get lack of. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the prompt is lack yeah. of, so. Yeah. yeah. It's the yeah. 2000s. Um, <clears throat> seven down. We're looking about right here. Nice little short one. Uh, main driving factor of Hamlet's madness. Starting with a G. Oh! Yeah. So this is what gets Hamlet to go crazy? Yes, it is. I'm going to go with ghost. Yes. Well done. Can we? Can I just as your as your teacher? No, I, I'm 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 gonna sit here right now and tell you to hush it. There is no wow. way you the get disrespect. This. The wow. ghost, the ghost. Are we serious? The prompt, if I'm not mistaken, where is it? You pointed out to me. It's right there. Um, um in fact, of Hamlet's madness. Hamlet's madness. Mm -hmm. You're telling me a sane right. rich hey. person. Hey. Hold on, hold on. I'm explaining. Okay, 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 okay. A sane rich person is looking into a mirror. And he's going absolutely ballistic because his judge, because <laughs> this ghost, 
has, has fed into his madness. It's like, oh my God, this is my dad's ghost. I have to avenge him. Okay. I, there was, I can see where there you're was coming nothing. From. I can see where you're coming from. And I just want to revert your guys back to the scene that he's talking about. Okay, it was, I think, Hamlet. Um, what's his friend's name again? Marcellus? Mm. Ben Benicio? That, that gang there. Um, Horatio. That was what I was looking for. Horatio. Yeah. They were up on the castle. <laughs> and that's when the ghost came in and the play started. I just yeah. want to remember you guys mm. back to that. Can I just make sure who's up for listening on this? We're good to go. We're yeah. good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. And also, uh, <clears throat> sorry about that. A little bit of a brain fart. <laughs> happens all the time. Happens all the time. But I truly think in the Kenneth version, the man is portrays. Yeah, and I, I'd agree. Yeah. I'm uh, again haven't really watched Kenneth version that with who such would a, <laughs> literacy lens, but I would agree with you there. Um, you know what? Put some respect on my version. Why don't you shut the hell up? Hey, 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 hey. Get, get the principal! Get the principal! Sit his ass down! Sit his ass down! Alright. <laughs> you know what? You touch me one more time, I'm filing a complaint like Mr. Bailey. So uh, I'd watch yourself. Don't make me get okay. Mr. Bailey again. Okay. Don't make me get Mr. Bailey. Enough! Again. Enough! You've already been suspended once and you don't need twice. <laughs> Jesus. No. Relax. Eight across. Torn between choices, internally divided. This is a freebie. Someone gave it to me. I think Alexa has it. She always does. We, we will go over that. Alexa, please. Holy. Let the rest of the class learn. This is the second time I'm telling you this week. Brain is brain. this Alexa from Google? <laughs> hey, Alexa. <laughs> I'm going to go with conflicted. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> You know, when we look at conflicted, we, we look at someone that's divided. You know, Internally somebody divided. somebody that doesn't, like, he wants to be here, he wants to be there, but he can't. Mm -hmm. You know, your hobo, I feel like he's at he's at home in that video mm -hmm. game store. Mm -hmm. But is Hamlet? He, is he though? Is he? Can I just, this is a little off topic here, but this is a class. We're here to learn, okay? Yeah. You go out to Rito Street right now, you look out on the street, Shepard's a good hobo, what do you see? Homeless people. Do you think they're conflicted? They're conflicted with drugs, alcohol, depression, lack of housing. Have you seen these goddamn gas prices? Confliction that Hamlet shows in the 2000 film is unmatched. What's more conflicted than a bum, a homeless person, a person without a house? Mm. In today's society, mm. modern day Hamlet connects now to then, 1600, you're conflicted as a king. Now, you're conflicted as a homeless person. There's no comparison. Yeah. No comparison. Yeah. And I think... I, I think know you would have the mental health resources to get yourself back on track. Was this homeless guy would... He was not in high school. He's been okay. past that. Okay. Okay. All right. I think the, 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 th the key point you're missing there is internally. Um, and I think a lot of the conflictions in the... Uh, your version, correct me if I'm wrong, is more of like exterior forces and things of those nature but again not a big construct of that so we'll move on we are looking at now we are looking for nine down religious figure that dictates moral rights and wrongs ends with a d three letters you should have this one god god yeah no brainer praise be to you you know when we talk about god do you want to elaborate on this yeah i'll let this one for josh right here uh yeah so I think um, God, especially in the Hamlet films, is very prolific between both of them. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's really much like give and take. Um, we see a lot of times, better make that kill, better do it, but he's mm -hmm. praying. Let me give an example from the text. Want the heaven, Let's you know? see if I can recite this a little bit better than the last one, okay? So we see Hamlet ready to kill Claudius in cold blood, but what does he do? He does not want to send Claudius to heaven. He just wants to get him that. He wants to get him when he's drunk. He wants to get him when he's sinning. He wants to send him down to the big man himself. Okay? So we see how God Satan. is an influence on Hamlet. Okay? I want you guys to write that down. That, that's a test question that I love to use every year. You know what I mean? So make sure you're taking note of that. And I could sure see Abdul. Still using the 2016 test. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Took that one uh, myself. Uh, I wrote that. She did the whole damn thing. Anyway. What was that? We'll moving on. <laughs> We're looking at ten down here. Hamlet does not take, does not take action. Wow. Yes. Thank no. you. Wow. We needed that. Come on. 
when we see action, action, yeah. my mind just goes straight to the 2000 film, okay? We see him walking down the blockbuster movie. See, I'm not one who was alive during the blockbuster, but when I'm scrolling through Netflix, okay, I'm not skipping past John Wick. I'm not skipping past the Equalizer, okay? Kung Fu Panda. Kung yeah. Fu Panda, these beautiful so. action movies. I'm taking them, because I'm hungry. Hamlet was not hungry whatsoever. He wanted to watch My Little Pony. He did not want to take action, okay? Hamlet no. 2000 shows this beautifully. Hamlet's relationship with I, action. I, I think without a doubt, Pat's got me beat here. Yeah. You know, there, there's really uh, nothing I can say other than fair play. That's Mr. Yeah. Willie. Mr. Yeah. Willie, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just watch yeah. that. 11 down, looking at the Hamlet setting. Oh, come movie. on. Oh, Abdul, Abdul, Abdul oh. I know you know this one. Let's someone else in the back answer. Oh, yeah. Alex says Norway. Nope, that's. Oh come on, Max. Max. England? Did I see England up there? Oh my god. Guys, are we even on. reading the play here? Come on. Tyler, I'm not gonna read that. I know you didn't read it. Alexa, Denmark. Yes, <laughs> wow. thank, you. thank you. Alexa. Wow. Let me just. Wow. Yeah, you've been uh, talking to Alexa. I saw you guys in the halls. Mm. Love All right, guys, uh, yeah. we don't we need don't like, so we get down on <laughs> That's a warning. I'm sorry. You get out of line like that again. I'm going to send you down to New York. <laughs> Where are we at? We are looking at 12 across. An Alabama custom, Gertrude's new relationship. Are we talking about incest? Anyway, moving on. We're looking at 13 across here. Philosophical <laughs> belief. Emphasizing human potential. You gotta write down there, man. I know, I'm getting to that, please. What was the problem, Pat? I'm gonna read that again, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Philosophical belief emphasizing human potential. What could that be? You know, it takes me back once again to the three things Mr. H taught us at the yeah. end. He's like, if you're not gonna remember anything, What's the first remember one? these three things. First one. Humanism. Wow. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. which we have on there, and the Renaissance. Yeah. You know, also known as Chain of Dean. I think I'm going to go with humanism here. And yeah, it's yeah. Already yeah, yeah, fits. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when we think humanism, we think of dignity. We think of... Uh, we think of a human being a human. Mm. We think of them being more than they are. Mm. Which in my, in my, is exactly as how it was played. You know, a king, he's just supposed to look pretty. Yeah. He's supposed to be there for the people. He's not really supposed to have a decision. Mm -hmm. Hamlet? No. He's losing his mind over this decision yeah. that a normal king overlooks, yeah. doesn't even care about it. You know, you, there is no way you can come back at me that your Hamlet has more humanism. Well, guess what, buddy? Guess what? I'm coming back. Let's hear I'm it. coming back. Modern day. I've been using that word all time we've been here, okay? Modern day human. What is a human in today's society? Not some man dressed up in a palace, fancily That's looking true. in the mirror. That's that has nothing to do with today and today's society. Modern day humanism is having <clears throat> conflicting mental health, conflicting <laughs> anxiety, conflicting depression, stuff, schizophrenia even, that might cause you yeah. to But you have no idea what it is like to be a king. To be neither a, do you. To be a, neither the, do you. the reigning son of a king. Neither that, do you. That his mother is piping his father's... Okay. You know some okay. days when my wife is arguing with me, I want to go walk down a blockbuster. With a beanie on, okay? Never in my life have I ever wanted to stare at myself in a palace, okay? You know Nor what? have I been you know given quite that the contrary. opportunity. I would love to stare at myself in my millions of dollars. Okay, all right, we're going to move on. I think you both have some you know fair what? points. Put that hand down. I think you have some fair points. I think, I think it's just... Hey, get his ass down again. What's up? You, know, you, you have to make him listen and have some respect. Don't talk to him. Don't talk to him. <laughs> this is a high school class. This is a high school class. Go talk to him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> what is going on here? Do. Have a Lindor. Have a Lindor. I'm fine. I'm sorry. Oh, carry, carry. Uh -oh. Go ahead. Okay. They're, them two are gonna cash this stuff out. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Alexa, where, where this is not you should see me. Where were we? Um still up. Okay. 14 down demonstrates vocabulary of this era. We're gonna start off here with an L. Oh, vocabulary? That's yeah. language. There no go. brainer. There we go, no brainer. You know, I like that bounce back. Yeah. You know, 
You know, you, you know, I have a short temper. I'm sorry. I, okay. I didn't mean it to get okay. that. It's my second strike this year, actually. <laughs> so I gotta yeah. keep it down. You know, if I was on strike number one, you'd be on the floor sleeping. By. <laughs> First one was like, anyway. Let's uh, language. I think we don't really need to go too in depth. I mean, different times, different yeah. use of language. I think yeah. they're both effective. Yeah. So let's skip right on ahead to fifteen. Blend of conflicting ideologies. Fifteen down. We've got a long one here. Oh. oh okay. No, I'm uh. Yeah, be on my track. I can feel it. So conflicting. That's another word for mixed. Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh. Synonym. Yeah. Synonym. Mixed. Uh, you know, I'm lost here, guys. Think of a person has an ideology. An ideology. That's another way of an emotion. So personality, mixed personality. Wow. Is that fit? That, that is good. Wow. Yeah. Wow. See, guys, that's problem solving. That's what we're trying to teach here. I'm gonna give you a question on the test, like one of these prompts here. I don't want you to immediately assume, oh, he's crazy. Oh, he's drinking again. No, I'm not. I want you to look and dissect it. Okay, we saw Abdul here. He said ideology. What's another word for that? He saw conflicting. What's another word for that? He was able to dissect what we gave him and give him, give us his own thoughts about the matter. Okay, that's what I want from you guys. Okay. Take notes. And make sure mics are muted. I'm hearing a little bit of riff raff. Static? Is that static? Kidding? I'm not quite sure, but let's, what, let's what's just, going on over here? Let's make sure. Is that Alex? No, we're good to go. He's okay. okay. He's okay. Make sure they mute the mic. I'll send an email to his mother later. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler too. One more thing and she's getting a phone call. Personal let's, reasons. Let's on move on that one. <laughs> Sixteen across. Wardrobe used in Hamlet. Oh, wardrobe. Give me the outfit, please. Yep. That's gonna be <laughs> wow, wow, what a wow! You know, I'm not even gonna try and argue this. The outfit in uh, the 2000s one is absolutely phenomenal. You know, when you look at my guy's outfit, he's just some rich, bratty little crap. Mm -hmm. But it's it's how he's using that outfit. Yeah. He 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 may be dressed as this rich, bratty little crap, but when he talks to himself in the mirror. He doesn't know what he's doing. You can tell this guy's lost. Yeah. See? He's, he's Abdul, losing his mind. When you talk to me in a calm, simple matter like that, I can understand where you're coming from, okay? Like, I see him in the 2000, I see the beam, I see the tuxedo, I see everything. It's good. It's good, it's not great. Mm. There was no mix of the principle, okay? When I see Kenneth's version, it has everything, okay? I can't argue with the outfit on that one. Well, very well done. Very well done. Yeah. Okay. I th yeah, that's fair play. Let's see you guys are playing mm -hmm. fair. That's nice. And then we're going to have our last one for today. Um, a reoccurring practice that demonstrates dishonesty between characters. A reoccurring? Reoccurring, yeah. lots of times. Okay, you know, so we have two E's here. E and E. Why don't you give them the first letter there, Joshua? I'm, I'm, I'll give you D. All right. D. D. We have a D. 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 Come on, let's build off that. D. We have here a reoccurring box. practice, <laughs> yeah. dishonesty. When you think of dishonesty between characters, what is that? Yes, yes. yes. Deception. Yes. Wow. There we go. There we go. Ooh That's what I like to see. Ooh That's what I like to see. Yeah. And Alexa, I saw you got that one right too. It's a good job on that. <clears throat> so deception. This you know, is going to be a big one. I can already feel the tensions have been rising quite a bit, but I think Hamlet as a whole is really just, built on no, this yeah, poor understanding. Hold on, let me take. If, let me if you no, 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 no. Yeah, if yeah. you try and argue this, I will find. I'm going to try and argue it. As a matter of fact, it. we're in their house. I'm I will go it. murder them. I'm okay. arguing it right now. You know, right now. Before I talk about deception, I want you guys to understand what deception means to Hamlet. I'm not He's not deceiving you. us. He's deceiving himself yeah, right after there. he was told the bad news about his father how everything went down okay he was not trying to deceive everyone else okay that, sorry 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 about that that was his original goal he was trying to deceive everyone else everyone wanted, he wanted everyone to think he was mad okay but in the end he deceived his own personality okay we saw him what that walking, goes both ways walking deceiving four his... hours around confessing his love to Ophelia in a way he's never done before yeah, crazy way. Men his mental health is through the roof. And that is something that is not talked about. Deception. You think you think a mental health is any better on a king on, on a soon to be king who's looking himself in the mirror for six straight minutes talking to himself about how his mother is nothing but a bratty little whore. Is, is he deceiving himself or is he telling himself the truth in that moment? <clears throat> <clears throat> 
I mean, we have to be asking the questions. I, I'd argue that mirror scene is him explaining the truth, lining himself up. He's not deceiving himself. He's oh. in the cold facts. He's coming to conclusions. Exactly. Alone. Your guy needs a video store, videos, and a, a whole movie about a car, like a car crashing. To get the idea of death, he just goes straight into it. His mental health is a hundred times more worse. I see where you're coming from. I see where you're coming from. I don't, I don't necessarily see that, but I would I would love it if you can yeah. email me after class. And yeah. So, guys, that's going to wrap up what we have today here. Can we all give a round of applause for Abdul coming in to class and today? And Joshua Marshall. Yeah. What, what a great yeah. co-host here. Um, just take all these notes. I'll post this on Classroom. Um, have a good day, you everyone. Wolves on three, guys. Come yeah. on. Wolves on three. One, two, three, wolves. No, no, no. Okay. One, two, three, three wolves. wolves.